I chose to work from from this wood in Derbyshire because I I used to know it as a child and I wanted to paint from an area which which I knew intimately I always see something different each time I come, and that's normally what what I do when I when I arrive with my camera. I'll just walk around, and then I'll see something which which attracts my attention, and I'll take photographs of that for the day. But there is it's something different every single time. Although there is there are themes that run through some of the paintings and some of the photographs. But what you're doing is you're, you're taking a fresh look at what you've known and what is as what what you've seen over almost 40 years. I'm not trying to make a, a an artistic photograph. What I'm trying to do is gather information, and the photograph is the easiest way from, that I find of doing that. What I'd like people to, to, to experience is what it's like to be in the wood. I'm trying to make people aware of what they're walking through and how the differences in nature go together to make one complete experience. So you see the rocks, the different textures, you see the different greens, you see the different leaves, you see, you see the different textures and surfaces shiny or, or dull but it all goes together to make one complete unit I've been working in, in my studio in Hackney since 1974 the studio is, is in a, a fairly depressed part of Hackney it's a, it's a very isolated place it's not somewhere where you where you can where you meet people. I go to the studio just to work. I'm not not a a social person, particularly when I'm working. And I suppose that 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 has a similarity with the places that I that I actually paint. This is one of uh, a series of paintings that that I've been dealing with over the last few weeks. What I've done is, is to, f to flood the paper with, with, with water and then spot l small areas of pigment which, which runs across the flooded areas of paper. So they, they, they correspond in some way to, to uh, uh, branches or areas, areas of wood that you might come across in, in the landscape. You use the res restriction of the of the water to define the area of the piece of the piece of wood.
the water that, that, that's been put on there is it, 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 ho it holds the pigment within it so you get areas that have no pigment on the paper which, in, which hopefully in, in some in the next stage will be painted over and so you get layers of of areas which, which seem to imply substance i.e. pieces of wood There's probably going to be about four more layerings of, of, of paint on this, on, it working in a similar kind of way, before I work on the top with, with a whiter area. At least that's what I'm anticipating. This is a painting which, which I've been painting for probably over, over a year now. It's a painting which, which was, as was shown previously, but was, I was never quite convinced that it was finished. I, I've been trying to put an area of light in it, so it, so it resembles some of the photographs that I've been using, which are shafts of light on a, a sort of grassy area of bank. And that's, that's what it, it's supposed to, to look like, or not photographically look like, but, it, but the... So you can, I can in some way feel that, that it does have an affinity with, to that. I've tried to run the paint so you get little ri rivulets of, of on the surface, but at the same time dilute it so you get areas where it, it runs almost as, as a, a sprayed surface from one gradation to another. And that's why I put paint paint on. I, I normally Mix, mix the white paint up with a lot of linseed oil and then dilute it in order to, to get with, with turps in order, in order to get the uh, gradation. painted with acrylic paint, which obviously is, is a, a water-based paint, which doesn't mix with the oil paint. And so it stands apart in, in little blobs on the surface. What, and what tends to happen, it is, it, it is fairly permanent because the, the, you're using both, they're, they're, they're both wet paint at the same time. The water-based paint is going to, going to dry quicker than the oil-based paint, but it seems, to, it seems to fuse it into the surface. 
So obviously what I don't want is a painting that's going to crumble off in, in two weeks' time. I do have an idea what the image is that I'm, I'm trying to create. What I don't know is how I'm going to, exactly how I'm going to achieve it on the painting. But I have to have some image to work from, i.e. the little black and white photographs, which, are, which I've taken for years and years. This painting is nearly finished. I've got the natural looking surface through lots of different mediums. It started off as as, uh, as they normally do on the ground. And then, it, and then it was painted with these white vertical bands, which in some way relate to, the, relate to trees. And then the, uh, the, the black and white sort of stringy bits, the bits of strands of uh, old dead twigs and things that you that you sometimes see coming off trees it's at an almost completed stage now what I've got to do is, is paint in the, the tiny bits of fungus in a very literal way So what I'm trying to do is, is get the essence of the place. I don't want to do it as a, a photographic representation of the, of the place, because I've already got a photograph to work from. What I've, what, I've got, what I've got to try and do is use the references from the photographs and from the images that, that, that I've found in books to try and represent what, what I feel it's like walking in, in the forest. And that's... That's basically what all these paintings were about. The gouaches are, uh, are individual pieces. They are, they are not preparatory studies for large paintings. They are tiny paintings in themselves. So, but at the same time, I want them to be intimate. I want them to be um, seen as things that you could look at and contemplate, which is it, the larger paintings take over your vision and you scan the surface and you see different things as you scan the surface. I want you to, to see the smaller things in total all the time. Now, I don't see the, 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 the smaller paintings as being different in subject matter. What they are, are precise investigations of the larger paintings. By that I mean that the amount of work over a particular area is much more intense than in the large paintings. I'm, I'm painting often with a very, very tiny brush 
proportion of the area that, I, that I'm painting with the, with the small brush is, is much larger on the smaller paintings than it is on the larger paintings. And therefore, it, it's a much more precise and almost jewel-like image that we're looking at. We're now in the gallery of Purdy Hicks. They represent me in London. This is a painting that, that you saw me doing in the studio, flooding the surface with, with white and then dabbing it off again, of the area of light striking grass across the wood floor. If you look over the surface of this painting, you see areas which could, be, could stand for reality or they could be totally abstract. But this is, in fact, what, it, what it's like in actuality. And then you see the leaves, which some look like you can pick off the surface and hold in your hand. But some are, are, are much more difficult to see than others. What it's like to see something which is obvious and straightforward, and then to search for something which might be on, on the path floor. This is a painting of trees in the background, twigs in, in the middle distance, and then you, it's picked out with these tiny areas of fungus, which, some, which somehow sparkle and get confused with the, with the other areas of, of black and white work around. Because there are, are lots of other areas which look like the funguses around the surface, you don't immediately, you're not immediately conscious that, that you're looking at this, at this line of funguses. You, it comes through observation and recognition. I want to make it plain to people what it's like to be in the wood. To, to walk around, to pick things up, to, to feel the sun on your back, to feel the frost on your toes. It's, it's all those things.